This is Kimmy from Everything Your Mama Made and More, and I'm here today to show you how to measure curves and um, like the circumference of objects um, in Adobe Illustrator. Um, for this tutorial, I'm using CS6, which is set up very similar to the Creative Cloud version. So I have some pattern pieces here laid out and I want to measure my curves to make sure that they're the right size. And over here on the right side of my screen, I have a, my document info panel. If you don't have this um, on here, sometimes it's located on the other side. You can go up to window and make sure that document info is checked and it should pop up someplace on your screen. Um, and you can, like most of your panels and AI, you can move it around. I like to have it up in this um, corner because it's easy to access and I use it often. So once you have your document info panel open, you're going to want to come over here to this little drop down menu and you're going to select objects. And each time you use this function in AI, you'll have to reselect objects. Um, but once you've had AI open, it'll stay that way until you close it. And so what I'm going to do is, um, the first thing I'm going to measure is I'm going to measure the um, arm curve here. And so if I just click, if I have my black uh, cursor and I just click on it, and I come up here, you'll see paths, and it will say there's three paths, um, and that it's a total of 39.6566 inches. And that's because it measures around this entire object. So if I just want to measure the curve, I'm going to use the light gray cursor and I'm going to click just click on just that line. And you'll notice again, it still has the 39.65 uh, because even though you're just selecting that one line, it still selects the entire object. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to do control C to copy um, and control V to paste. And if you are using your black cursor, it'll do the entire object. But if you're using um, the gray cursor, it'll just do the one. Now, if you want to move it without distorting it, you'll want to select the black cursor. Um, because if you use the gray cursor to try to move it, all it does is actually move the line. Um, and you can always hit Control Z to undo if you accidentally have your wrong cursor selected. So now I have just that new line. And I'm going to put my black cursor on there so I don't accidentally mess it up. And if I come over here, it'll tell me I have one path selected um, and that it is a total of 7.96 inches. So that tells me that this line is 7.96 inches. Um, after I measure it, I just select it and delete it and it's gone. Um, if there are two points, I'm going to get my gray cursor again like this curve right here has two separate lines. If you click on the first line that you want and then hold down the shift key and click on the second, it will select just those two lines. It is kind of hard to tell just by looking at it because um, AI keeps the whole object selected, but I just clicked on those two lines and you can see by the, the points that are showing. And I'm gonna do Control C again and then Control V to paste. And so now I have my two lines that are together and you can see it's 11.57 inches. Now, if I were to do that again and just click one half of the curve, so this is the front side of my arm. And if I were to copy and paste and it would paste just that one half and you can see that one half of the curve is seven uh, or 5.72 and this particular bodice doesn't actually match this sleeve because this is just an example, but it would give me, it would show me if that was my, my center mark and this was the front that my curve on my arm sleeve here is almost two inches smaller than the curve on the arm that it attaches to. So um, that's how you measure curves and compare um, curves in AI. You can also use the same method. I'm going to come over here and use my lips tool and I'm going to just do a shape. It's not a circle. And um, like if I was doing a bag pattern and this was the bottom of the bag and I needed to know how big the um, body of the bag that attached to it was, if it 
if it was a round bottom with a rectangular body. I could come over here and it tells me it's 24.18 inches. So I would know that my body on my bag, when the side seams are put in and I'm ready to attach it to my bottom, needs to be approximately um, 24 inches. You do also have to remember that if you're using doing sewing patterns, when it's something like this that's circular, your seam is going to be in how far. So it's actually going to have um, a little bit less uh, area to cover. The circumference is actually going to be a bit smaller. So um, those are just things to keep in mind. But anyways, this is Kimmy from Everything Your Mama Made and More.com. And have a nice day.